Bronx Science Class of 21. My name is Zoya Garg and I'm running to be your senior council president. Who could have imagined the world that we are in right now? The coronavirus has left many of us disoriented, struggling, and confused. Now more than ever before, we have to come together. As the co-captain of two varsity sports and the vice president of a club, I've learned what it means to maintain team spirit through the ups and the downs. Although the current situation is unprecedented, I believe the Bronx Science spirit will pull us through. I'm eager to hear any ideas you have for next year, and I have four of my own, which can be summarized by packed. P is for picnic. Let's have a senior day picnic in the courtyard and call in some extra food trucks for the day. A is for alumni. Let's contact the best source we have. We'll send them a Google survey with our questions about the college process, and more importantly, college majors. C is for celebrate. Although our school does a great job of acknowledging accomplishments that are academic, the Humans of Bronx Science 21 page will celebrate you on whatever you want to share with your classmates. It'll profile senior class students about their experiences. T is for t-shirts. On one day, we'll ask all seniors to bring in an old t-shirt and we'd all be able to sign and draw on them, creating a wearable, but sustainable yearbook. In and out of the classroom and on and off of the field, I've learned so much from all of you. And this position would give me the opportunity to give back to the class that's taught me so much about myself. During this time of uncertainty, keeping our Bronx science spirits high will get us through. And that's what I will do for you. So please vote me, Zoya Garg, because from Z to A, I've got you covered in every way. Hey everyone, I'm Samama Mundaha and I'm running to be your senior council president. Senior year should be our year, but it's also when we're making some of the most important decisions of our lives. The most important thing to me is to make sure that we have that balance between fun and focus. For the fun portion of my platform, I plan to bring about new events to further enrich our experience here. For one, the Senior Olympics, where hardworking athletes can get on the fields for one last time to show how far they've come. I also plan to bring in pep rallies and senior fashion weeks to bring about more school spirit and enthusiasm. For the balance portion of my platform, I plan to expand our resources to make sure we have personalized college meetings that focus on college majors, so we'll get a really good feel for what we'll love doing in college and learn how the courses we've already taken will help us in specific career fields. I also plan to compile a list of as many PDF versions of textbooks as we can get so that working and studying on the go will be more convenient. I also plan to lessen the stress around financial burdens. Let's face it, a lot of us let go of our dream school just because of the price tag attached. I will create a virtual document with all of the scholarship opportunities that we can always rely back to to make sure that we're not immediately saying no to all of our dream schools. The most important thing to me is to make sure that you guys have a say in the activities that occur throughout the year, not just the senior council. If you vote me for senior council president, I will make sure that I will always listen to your opinions before making any decisions. Make sure you vote for someone that will not only listen to you, but will make sure that your expectations are always fulfilled. I may be really small, but I promise you that my school spirit and ideas stand tall. So what are you waiting for? Quit the drama and vote for Samama. Hi juniors, my name is Lola Merchie and I want to be your senior council president. In my three years here at Bronx Science, I've been the assistant producer and anchor for Wolverine TV, a starting competitor on Mock Trial, the president of Best Buddies, and more, and I've gotten to know a lot of people and are great as a result. The class of 2021 is filled with amazing people, and I want to make sure that we have a senior year that's equally as amazing. I have a few ideas in order to make this happen. The first of which is a college major fair. This would be structured similarly to our college fair, except we'd invite back alumni and various professionals to talk about their careers and the role that their major played on them. College is about so much more than just the name, and having a major that you're passionate about can make all the difference. Secondly, I want to send out weekly college deadline reminder emails. These would be sent out every week and include the deadlines for the most popular schools that Bronx Science students are applying to. These include the deadlines for applications, supplements, score sends, scholarships, and more. Finally, I want to make sure that our senior year is as fun as it can possibly be. I want to create a ton of fun events, like an outdoor senior movie night, a senior picnic, and make a ton of fun changes like senior merch, having a March Madness bracket competition, having outdoor senior tables, and so much more. Juniors, we've all worked tirelessly in our three years at this school, and I want to make sure that our last year here is our best one yet. 
I am hardworking and passionate about our school, and I know that as your senior council president, I'll be able to make our senior year one to remember. So on April 2nd, remember, let's go left and vote Lola for senior council president. Thank you. Hey Bronx Science, I'm Lexi Carr and I'm running to be your next JSLT. Running for a school position requires one little set goals and work their hardest in order to achieve them, which is exactly what I plan to do. Some of the goals that I would love to work in order to achieve includes making health classes available to freshmen and sophomores throughout the school year, not just juniors and seniors. In addition to this, I'd like to make multiple bathroom reforms, including periodically refilling feminine hygiene dispensers, adding urinal dividers, and fixing broken bathroom stall locks. This can be done with the implementation of a committee that collects data in order to make these reforms. On top of this, I would like to have more mental health initiatives throughout the school year, such as working with organizations like Mental Health First Aid that delivers informative seminars to students about their own mental health and the mental health of their peers and how to get help if need be. Also, I'd like to have more frequent Zen dance throughout the school year that could take place in either 008 or the college office. Next, I would like to offer students the opportunity to have a practice ACT and or SAT at school so they can decide which test is best fit for them to take for college. And lastly, I would love to work with the National Organization for Women and some of the teachers here at Bronx Science in order to create a Women in History Curriculum Day. This could take place around the time of International Women's Day and inform students about some women that are underrepresented in history books. I would love to make these changes and make sure that the student body is always fairly represented if you vote Lexi Carr for JSLT. Stay safe and healthy, Bronx Science. Hi guys, my name is Tristan Wayne and I'm running to be your JSLT. As JSLT, I would represent you guys in SLT meetings with the principal and administration. I'm running for JSLT to make our lives in this school better. We can all agree that the bathrooms in this school are not the best. So I push for two major changes. The first is the installation of urinal dividers in the boys' bathroom, and the second is access to female hygienic products in all female bathrooms. When you're peeing, you don't want anyone peeking because that's weird. And also, if you get your period in the middle of the day, you're not going to go running around the school trying to find a tampon or pad because blood is coming out of you. I also want to help students build a better relationship with their guidance counselors so during junior year, they can get a good recommendation from their guidance counselor. I plan to do this by having guidance counselors set up schedules of when they're available to make them ac more accessible to you guys. We have three food trucks around the school, very similar menu items, and I want to help diversify the food options that we are offer around here. I, I plan to do this by inviting more food trucks to come to our school. If you're eating burritos and fries every day, you're going to have the blood pressure of a 70-year-old man by the time you graduate. I also want to have school-wide competitions such as teachers versus students basketball games so you can smoke that teacher who gave you a 60 on your last test. Other ideas I have are the, are the installation of picnic tables in the courtyard, repurposing the garden for mental health usage, and making school resources more accessible to you guys. Thanks and remember Wang Gang 2020. <laughs> Hi, Bronx Science. My name is Alison Erico. I understand your concerns as we are entering uncharted territory with the coronavirus pandemic. I believe the best thing that we can do at a time like this is to remain optimistic. We are resilient, and just like the quote says, this too shall pass. I also believe we should look to the future, especially the future in our own school. And with that, I am running to be your next SO secretary. I have been a member of Cadman since my freshman year, setting and implementing ideas in the school. I'm also a member of the speech and debate team, a part of NOW, the National Organization for Women, and a varsity lacrosse player. Through each activity, I have seen the amazing grit of Bronx Science students, and I am motivated to create change that works in favor of these diligent students. So I want to create a mental health night for parents in conjunction with the PTA. This way, mental health experts can teach parents how to help their children through their issues. I also want to build meditation days into the gym schedule instead of just as a unit of study. Next, I want to have a merchandise design contest, revamp spirit days, and celebrate Pride Month with days that will function like spirit days. I also want to work with STEM teachers to develop a climate change curriculum that will teach students about climate change and their effects on the climate. Furthermore, I want to work with the DOE to find a way for students to raise awareness for organizations that matter to them in school so we can increase school spirit and so we can help out our community. 
Moreover, I want to create a panel of academically diverse students who can receive service credit for being available to discuss course selection with other students face to face. Lastly, I want to dedicate a portion of the main bulletin board to sports teams so students can follow their success and so athletes can get the recognition that they deserve. With your vote, I promise to be your voice, to relay the concerns of the students to cabinet and administration so something will get done. I also promise to uphold the responsibilities of the secretary position and work really hard to make Bronx Science a place that every student can be proud of. So remember, rally behind Allie and vote Allison Erico for SO Secretary. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Grace Lorch and I'm running to be your SO Secretary. As a homeroom senator, I've spent the last two years discussing your concerns, and as secretary, I promise to spend the next year resolving them. So you're probably wondering, why should you vote for me? Well, it's simple. My solutions will create noticeable change. I have a lot of great ideas, so let's get started. First and foremost, announcements. Our student government has tried sending emails in the PA system, but at the end of the day, you're so uninformed and unhappy. What if, in addition to these methods, we try a more visual approach? I want to turn the bulletin board and the main staircase into a center of all information regarding your interests. Because let's face it, as nice as the seasonal greetings are, we'd be much better off learning more about the opportunities Bronx Science has to offer. It will include all of your interests, except for sports, because with sports, I want to do something a little bit different. As a member of the varsity volleyball team, I don't think our teams get the recognition that they deserve. That's why I will create an official Bronx Science Athletics Instagram account. It will highlight our successes and promote our events to the student body because the student support makes all the difference. Next, our bathrooms. Our bathrooms are constantly understocked and improperly functioning, so I will make sure that the bathrooms are checked by cabinet members for any issues that need to be reported to the janitors. This way, you don't have to worry about toilet paper or broken doors. Next, art. We have many talented artists, but don't celebrate their creativity often. That's why I will start an art exposition so students can share their artwork and the meaning behind it. Lastly, I want you to feel prepared for adulthood once you graduate. And part of understanding your future is understanding finances. With the help of the guidance office, I will partner with a nonprofit financial education group called Sensibility to create a free after school program. I will not stop until your needs are met, but I can't fix the school without your help. So as soon as the polls open, remember, Vote for Grace to make Bronx Science a better place. Thank you. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Ahona Rana. I'm a sophomore and I'm running to be your next SO Secretary. I'm running because I want you to have a voice. I'm running because I want you to feel represented and I'm running because I want you to have an awesome time at Bronx Science. As a member of cabinet and someone who's been in student council all three years, I know how to get things done. More importantly though, I know how to introduce new ideas and make sure they carry out which I've shown by the iMessage Olympics, 2010 State Cupid's Bash, and the Advice Board. It's no question that I'm always advocating for new ideas and new ways that students can have fun. As your secretary, secretary, I will be working with the school administration to make our school better, stronger, and more exciting. As a member of cabinet, I've seen the amazing turnout at Cultural Day, and that's why I'm going to be working with departments all across the school to incorporate more diversity into their lessons and their classes. I'll also be focusing on increasing our representation of the many creative and talented students at Bronx Science. And I'll do this by expanding Leave Your Mark and, and having a mural in the courtyard for students by students. I'll also be making mental health a priority and introduce a field day focused and centered around mental health. I'll also be increasing school spirit by introducing a yearly Bronx Science merch competition and having more activities on spirit days like Zen Dance on pajama days. As your secretary, I will be advocating for more energy sustainable solutions. We are a STEM school and we can do so much better in, in helping our environment. That's why I'll be implementing composting methods and making practices such as recycling more common, but in a fun way. Finally, I will be giving sports teams the recognition they deserve. I will be sending out texts to the school about upcoming games and have a section in our talent show where student athletes can show off their skills with their amazing teams. There you have it, Brown Signs. I know these ideas may seem impossible and hard to implement, but I will get them done. I will fight for you. So let me fight for you and your voice, Bronx Science. Boa Honorana, you know you. Three thousand. Three thousand individuals, each with their own dreams, talents, and stories. This is our Bronx Science. This is how we learn but no one said it was easy. You have worked hard to earn your seat here and you deserve a vice president who will work just as hard for you 
as you do for our community. As a community, we win when we leave our marks, and we have a lot of winning to do. Now, many of you may know me, and others may not, but what all of you will discover about me is that it is my number one priority to create the means for all 3,000 of us to leave our marks. That's why I propose a Bronx Science student panel to inform prospective students, homeroom Kahoot games, and a financial and business advice board. I will chair the Nutritional Health Council, dealing in students' mental and physical health by introducing an anonymous program with a material incentive for turning in dual pods, a day dedicated to destroying a ball made from rubber bands with our stresses written on them, and healthier options at the food truck. When I promise, I deliver. Having met with the coordinator of student affairs, Ms. Parnes, and assistant principal, Ms. Cooper, I've already seen my 43 ideas become confirmed initiatives. And next year, we'll see those initiatives become reality. When we win, month one will already feature weekly cabinet information emails, our first ever writing workshop, and hot water dispensers in the kitchen. But months two through 10 will depend on you and your vote. And it starts now. This is your opportunity. A wise woman once said, that blonde candidate is obviously the best choice. That wise woman was my mom. Mom, if you're watching this, hi, I'm on Wolverine TV and it's really exciting. Actually, this entire race is really exciting. Maybe not for most students, but not only are my policies ambitious, they're important. Now, you all want better grades, right? Well, elect me as vice president and I will encourage all departments to replace our lowest test scores because one bad grade shouldn't affect our entire GPA. Also, we'll have the ability to type up our essays to leave the building. Plus, I'll be ensuring a constant supply of menstrual products in the bathrooms. We should be able to vote on which snacks go in the vending machines, and I'll be lowering the prices of those snacks. Now, as much as I love cheaper Oreos, what's most important to me are my mental health platforms, which is why I joined this race in the first place. As the only junior running, my three years of experience here have taught me that everyone watching this knows someone or personally struggles with their own mental health. As someone who lives with an anxiety disorder, I know that these platforms will make a true difference. We'll be having town hall style discussions run by students about general or personal issues, including the aftermath of the coronavirus. There'll be lessons taught by already committed therapists and psychologists at school. Finally, there'll be a specific mental health night for parents, as well as emails and pamphlets, bringing awareness to parents upon anonymous student request. This is what makes my platform so personal to me and hopefully to all of you too. So vote for me, for yourself, for your friends, for the betterment of the school, and also for my mom. Remember, it's slogan, no, it's Logan time. Hello Bronx Science, my name is Sky Lamb and I'm ready to become your next student body vice president. Now before I tell you about my campaign ideas, let me first explain why I'm qualified for this position. In the past two years, I've been a part of SO Cabinet, so I know exactly how the school runs on a daily basis. I'm also the president of the Bronx Science Do Something Club, which is centered around youth activism, a proud member of speech and debate, a key club member, a quizable member, and most importantly, a player on the men's varsity bowling team. Now time to move on to my campaign ideas. My first campaign idea is to have all the Bronx Science morning announcements available online, including a joke of the day, to ensure that the entire student body knows what's going on within our school. I also want to have the TV and the cafeteria play things that students actually want to see, or it's your favorite TV show, or exciting sports game. I also want to add new electronic screens to our school's hallways. This could be used to advertise SO events and new club meetings. My final campaign idea is to have new Bronx Science merch. I believe that new t-shirts and new hoodies are a great way to increase school spirit within our student body. As a notorious B.I.G. once said in a song, The Sky's the Limit, the sky is the limit. I hope you make the right decision in voting me, Sky Lamb, as your next student body vice president. Thank you. 
The great American leader once said, this nation was founded on one principle above all else, the requirement that we stand up for what we believe, no matter the odds or the consequences. Just like Captain America, I too will stand up for you. Hi, I'm Ilana, and I want to be our school's next superhero. Or maybe just school president. I know how hard it is to believe that things are changing when we can't see it. But after working as an advocate and student leader throughout my time at Bronx Science, I've learned that our voices matter, and that if you believe in something, it will get done. This is especially true for our school. We are a group of dedicated, hardworking, intelligent individuals. I mean, hey, there is a reason Tom Holland came here of all places to prepare for Spider-Man. But that doesn't mean we are done growing. We are so often stressed out, and that can change. I want to move the math testing day to Tuesdays, so we can have the weekends to study, and we can enjoy our Fridays. We'll have Zen Den extensions, more free play and gym, and I'll get us printers in the college office. And it's so easy to get caught up in our daily lives, so it'll help us take a step back by having dialogue about serious topics like mental health and on politics, and I'll bring in guest speakers. And I know we've all had the times where we want to talk to someone about colleges, courses, friends, that's removed from our lives, but still has a similar perspective. So that's why I'm creating a board of students for students, SFS, which will do exactly that, by connecting students to other students of an appointed board. And with all this conversation and discussion about the state of our world and our pile of homework and tests, we need to have some fun with an Olympics day, special food truck day, and after school sports competitions. So vote Ilana so we can have some fun because with great power comes great responsibility. And I am ready for it. Thank you. Hey Bronx Science, my name is Sylvie Peritsky and I am running to be your next SO president. First, a word about community. We are all stuck home in this uncertain time and we are finding ways to stick together. No matter what happens in the future, I will work hard to continue this sense of togetherness and to maintain the Bronx Science bond. For now, I want to give a heartfelt shout out to my fellow candidate, Yuhana. We may be competing in this race for president, but we are both going through this experience together. As for me, I am so eager to serve this community as your president. I have been a devoted member of the Bronx Science community for three years, and I'm never afraid to bring the spirit. I have been on the SO cabinet for two years, and I currently serve as the SO junior chief of staff. I run the Snapchat and Instagram accounts, and I'm proud to be a member of the debate, volleyball, and lacrosse teams, the Do Something Club, and the school senate. But enough about me. This is about you. Here are my ideas to help you. First, birthday shoutouts on the announcements. We go to a big school and sometimes a little recognition is a nice way to add to the debt. Next, mental health improvements. I would work with the school to create specialty stress days for each grade when they need it most. For example, for seniors right before the early decision deadline. LGBTQ plus sexual education as a part of the health curriculum. It is so important that we include every student. An extended community board. This would provide more online community service and a way to access tutoring help. Highlights for all clubs, teams, and activities on the TVs and on social media. Students of all areas can get the recognition they deserve. A more organized student advisement system for courses. Instead of Facebook, an organized website with every course hyperlinked and a forum for advice and opinions. A week of giving. Each day would be dedicated, get dedicated to different acts of community service. My goal is to work closely with each and every one of you to bring these and other ideas to life. Let's get this started by voting for me. Sophie Peritsky for SO President. And remember, we agree, vote Peritsky. What are you going to do April 1st? I'm going to vote. 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 Yes, we can. I'm going to vote. So open up your emails and vote on April 1st, Bronx Science. Thanks for watching!